my name is Gary Milkey. I'm the treasurer for the Kansas City Woodworkers Guild. And uh, this is kind of the, the way I got started in woodworking, because when I retired, I was looking for something and uh, uh, to do. I needed a sign and uh, had came down here, and they told me to go make my own sign, so I started working on it. Uh, the CNC is a computer numeric control, is what it's called, computerized router. Do is you create an image of what you want, and then you convert that image into what is called G code, which is basically an X, Y, Z coordinates on it, and the router then routes what you have drawn. Our membership fees are very low because we basically to use all of our equipment, uh, we have what we call a sawdust membership. That's $75 a year. We then have a Woodworker Plus membership that would cost $100 a year. And uh, if, you, if, you use, if you choose the Woodworker Plus, you get a 20% discount on any classes. So anyone taking that wants to take classes uh, really needs to be a Woodworker Plus because you can make up that $25 fairly quickly. We also, with our membership, you get a discount card, which gets you a 10% discount at Woodcraft and uh, uh, Shooty Lumber, Metro Hardwood. Uh, there are also some, uh, some sharpening places that, that uh, are sponsors and so forth. We try to get equipment in here that uh, uh, is good for our, the membership that use our shop, but we also have a good deal, uh, or quite a few members that have a shop at home, so we try to have machinery here that they don't necessarily have at home. Uh, for instance, we have a 16-inch joiner. Uh, that is a, a very nice large machine, but uh, you, you wouldn't see that in your average garage workshop. And we also have uh, a sander, a 37 inch sander, uh, a wide belt sander that uh, you're not going to see it at a home shop. Uh, we have a tilt mortise, and so we, we try to get machines like that so that people, even if they have a shop at home, that they can come in here and get some, uh, get some benefit. My name is Anthony Harris. I started woodworking, I think I was about seven years old. Ten years anyhow, maybe ten or twelve years, I did most of the wood turning wrong. And the reason is because, you know, no one taught me. I didn't know that you're supposed to sharpen tools. Twenty-two years old, I started uh, looking at books and watching uh, demonstrations and began to learn how to use the tools correctly. Deciding I was going to learn to chase threads. And I probably uh, spent the most of a year just learning how to do that. Everything I could put a thread on, I did, and that's how I practiced it. Um, I eventually learned that you can also chase threads in most, most any material. And I discovered that I could uh, chase a thread in most anything. And so I, mean, I chased a thread in a sweet potato. You can also use a lot of different materials uh, on a wood lathe. You don't have to just turn wood. And I've turned things, probably the softest thing I ever turned was styrofoam. Uh, I've also turned, I guess, wax candles. Wax candles are kind of fun. Probably the hardest things I've turned are uh, mild steel and brass. Uh, I've turned some uh, soapstone. Bone and ivory are uh, very interesting things to turn, particularly if you find uh, dense bone. I got some uh, giraffe thigh bone that is just one of the densest materials I've ever seen in my life. And it's got a fairly thick wall, and I guess because it's got so much weight that it's holding up all the time, it's quite dense. Horn is uh, also something that's fun to turn. You can really smell it when you turn it. And also a lot of horn, not all of it, but a lot of horn, you can only cut it one direction. Horn is made out of uh, keratin, which is what your fingernails and hair is made out of. Gemsbach horn. Gemsbach is a large antelope from South Africa. And it has that problem with being able, you can only cut it one direction. Thank you.